joining me. It's been a while since I've posted a video. I've, um, I've been really struggling with it. I have both the YouTube and my photography. Um, but there's been a bit of a change, I think. So while I've been away from YouTube, I've been wrestling with where do I stand with my photography? You know, what's my style? What's the point of it? All that kind of stuff and I kind of really been sort of going really deep into it all and um, I don't know if any of you guys follow me on the old Instagram but um, I, I've developed quite a moody, ethereal sort of style and the things that I'm drawn to uh, is these sorts of skies. Um, that are absolutely menacing. And I'm trying to get now from my photography this feeling of of maybe out of this world sort of stuff. Um, so I've been listening to some music actually um, that's been really helpful. And it's called New uh, Retro Wave, Synth Wave. Um, there's sort of a darker element to this style of music and it's really sort of um, it's what you would expect in sort of your 1980s video games and it's really sort of it's really sort of like aligned with my photography and I've been able to find myself listening to this music and coming up with a new sort of way to photograph and I think my, my photography nowadays has become this this place of escape for me um, of these sort of imaginary worlds that sort of thing I don't know where it sits because obviously this um, historically this is a, a landscape photography channel and I don't think it quite sits there within that genre um, because I change the image quite a bit when I'm taking these photos and I want the feel of the images to be that it's sort of maybe an underworld or a, a, you know some kind of fantasy world that doesn't exist really and it's really abstract and out of this world. Um, I grabbed a couple of shots then and I'll pop them on screen for you um, but I think I think what I'll do as well is I'll add some of the images on from the last couple of months and you'll be able to see the development that I've had and in the meantime I'm going to leave this spot because there isn't really uh, it's not really what I'm looking for but enjoy the images and I will go and find another one
Honda PCX 125 and I can spend all day on it and spend about three or four quid on petrol. So it's an absolute base. Um, so I'll show you my little setup while we're here. Um, it's nothing fancy. Um, so underneath my seat is two tripods. I uh, hardly ever get out to be honest. I hate tripods so uh, that's why you probably never see them. Uh, and then I've got this um, cheap new ear camera bag strapped to my bike and then I'll put it put the handle the uh, shoulder straps under the seat and that secures it nicely and uh, I've got quick access to all of my camera gear um, it's absolutely fantastic and I can just sort of whip up anywhere I want really um, you know and just whip it straight into the veg and it just gives me a bit more access uh, so this has been quite a big influence on my photography as well because uh, before I was walking around everywhere and not really um, not really getting anywhere apart from being on foot or on public transport so um, so that has definitely affected my photography I would say now I'm much more run and gun and what I tend to be doing is getting on my bike when I know there's uh, weather coming through and basically my photography shoots now consist of me chasing weather systems and skies and that sort of thing so yeah it's a bit more fast paced a bit more run and gun uh, jump off the bike and quickly grab a shot when you when you've got to a spot so no planning really um, has been going on at all of any of my shots I've just literally been riding around when I know the sky is pretty cool and uh, hoping that we uh, come up with something but yeah I love it it's the best thing that's ever happened I think me getting that bike um, it took me a while to get used to the format of videography um, I've tried about three or four videos uh, in the last couple of months and I've just keep failing so um, we've got the Nikon Z50 and it's quite handy because it's got a front facing screen which I didn't have and uh, I think that's really helped I'm rambling so I'm gonna jump on my bike and I'm gonna go see if I can find another shot uh, so I was just uh, jumping on my bike and um, I just was doing a bit of b-roll with the Nikon just then and I found I found another shot that I thought was pretty cool again I'm just really interested in the skies so that just seems to be where I'm going with it at the moment you know just some, just to compliment the sky and the sky is literally the main affair in my uh, my photography at the moment so we've got a simple shot um, I got the 24 to 70 on and we just concentrated on this beauty so while I'm riding while I'm riding off to the next spot I'll leave you with this shot We're done for the day just a bit of an update video really i'm still here i'm still plugging away still obsessed with photography and um there's some big things potentially coming for the channel and um, so we're, we're looking at doing the motorbike license in a month or so um which is going to bring about adventure motorbiking photography all that kind of stuff so bear with me we're still working, we're still chipping away, uh, but we'll get there in the end. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you uh, hopefully in the next video. Bye for now.